Hey YouTube, Mark Kaufman here and today I am doing my review on the Traveling Elk Ridge Stockman. This was started by Knife Delights and I am really happy that he got this pass around knife started and it's been traveling throughout a few YouTube channels. So first off, let's talk about what a Stockman knife is. So Bernard Levine, who wrote Levine's Guide to Knives, states that Stockman knives in their early forms were uniform width and round ended and often had long slim spear point or spear mastered blades and a clip mastered blade and then eventually became a standardized stockman knife with a spade blade now these early knives actually had more of a cigar shape and you can see those here and for me personally i really love the cigar shape and i wish there were more of those out there but now we have more of this more rectangular handled shape now here are a few more uh, pictures of a few stockman knives and a few other knives that were offered in the early 1900s so now let's take a look at this stockman from elk ridge but before that let's take a look at this beautiful beautiful sheath now I think this was made by J.O. at Outdoors but I'm not I'm completely sure but I have been carrying the knife with this sheath and it is absolutely fantastic so I'm gonna set that aside and now we can take a look at the knife and for me personally this knife has been rather nice um, the one thing that I've really enjoyed about this knife is actually the spring tension is not bad Spring tension is pretty decent for a knife that probably costs about $12. And the handle scales I have absolutely fallen in love with. So much so that I've actually looked for other knives that may share this. Now, JW um, over at his channel actually found that these knives are made by another company and they make a few other knives and I actually picked up a crowing rooster stockman that shares these same handle scales and I also picked up a few other elk ridge knives that have this same handle scale material now this I would probably agree with JW that this is a root beer swirl and it is absolutely beautiful now I haven't used the serpentine or the California clip blade that much but what I have used is this sheep foot blade. Now when I got this knife, I actually sharpened it up and I used this to open up all the boxes and bagging that covered our new uh, bed frame. And so I bought a new bed and I needed to cut the box and open all the packaging and open all the smaller bags that had the screws and everything and I used this sheep foot blade to do it. Now I will say this, it's not entirely the steel's fault because this is 3CR 13 MOV steel, but in those bags there are a few screws and a few other things and you can see that there are a few nicks in the blade. So this will probably be sharpened up before I send it off to the next reviewer. And I have to say, this little blade really held up. The spring tension's okay, but I have to say for 3CR steel, I was actually really impressed with this one blade and how much work it did with all the heavy lifting it had to do. Now that is not saying that I only used that one. I've actually used the small, I wouldn't even say this is a spay blade, I'd probably say this is like a little pen blade, but it is considered a spay blade. Now I've used this to sharpen pencils at work and to sharpen um, a few twigs not really twigs, but it's basically cleaning sticks that I use during watchmaking to get rid of old grease and oil off of watch movements. And to be fair, it has held up rather well. The edge on this is still very, very sharp, very, very usable. And I've actually been keeping this one the sharpest just so I can sharpen my pencils properly and well. Now, when it comes to the, uh, the serpentine clip blade, this one here has not gotten the most use. It's still very, very sharp, but I will say this, it's very thin and I really prefer a larger clip blade than this small clip blade. Now that's not to say I don't like the knife because I've actually picked up 
an elk ridge with wood scales in this exact pattern, primarily just to remember this whole event and this whole thing that Knife Delights created, but also because this is a pretty good knife. For the money, it's about $12, $13, and you're getting brass liners, steel springs, pretty decent fit and finish actually, almost on par with Rough Rider, I would say, and in some cases on par with Case, but that's sometimes not saying much. But for me personally, I find this knife to be a real delight to carry, and I've really enjoyed it, and I thank you so much Knife Delights for starting this really fun pass around knife. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review. Till the next one, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.